Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweet and I in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you my color grading workflow in Capture One. So this is Capture One and I'm using Capture One 21 as you can see here. So if at all you don't have Capture One, you can easily Google Capture One and you pay for a license to access all these features right here. So enough of that and if at all you're going to find this video really helpful and you have always struggled with color grading in Capture One. This is a tutorial for you. So right now you may be wondering why my Capture One interface is looking like it is in my camera or even in Lightroom. Simply what I did, I came right here to Window Workspace and I came to Migration and I had my layout look like this. So in this case, in order to color grade in Capture One, the very first thing you have to take into consideration is basically correcting the lighting issues within the image and correcting the contrast or detail values within your image and making sure it is the right exposure and the contrast is as much of that to your taste or liking so what i'm going to do basically i tend to take the highlights down and i do the same for the whites then i come and add some tiny bit of contrast of around five then the next thing i tend to do i come to my levels and i simply darken that so that makes the image contrasty and you can see if at all you're lacking an adjustment as we're going on with this tutorial you can simply right click on the adjustments and you come to add tool and you add whichever tool that you're lacking within your capture one so right now i feel like i've added that nice and rich contrast within the image so usually i don't open up the shadows for portraits or close-ups so what i do next i come and come to this plus icon and I right click and I create a new field adjustment layer. By new field adjustment layer I mean that every adjustment we are going to be applying to the image is going to be affecting the overall or whole image at a global basis. So every adjustment you are going to be applying right here is going to affect the overall image. That is why we have created a new field adjustment layer. So in capture one I'm going to scroll all the way down to my color editor and you can see that we have basic, advanced and skin tone. So in skin tone that is where I'm going to do the color grading and evening out of the skin color for this model. So I'm just going to come to skin tone and simply left click to get the color picker tool and zoom in by using Ctrl or Command plus on the keyboard and basically what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sample an area that I want to to represent the rest of the skin. Remember, I want to have a uniform skin color or skin tone for the model. So I'll just simply click on an area that I feel like was more close to the original skin color of the model in this case. I'm just going to choose this area right here because it is okay, it looks great, and simply zoom out. So remember the only emphasis is the face because most of the skin is either on the model's hands or even the face itself so i want to get a uniform skin color for the model so after sampling you can see the area we have sampled right here contains this color so this is more like the range in which those colors are falling that area has some yellows oranges magentas and reds in it so we are going to scroll down to where it says uniformity and under uniformity this is where the magic is going to take place and before you go to uniformity, when I click on view select a color range, you can see that it automatically makes or desaturates the rest of the colors that don't fall within the selected color range that we sampled right here. So that is how this tool works. So in order to check on the sampled colors, you can use this option. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to uniformity like I've said, and I'm going to simply start taking the hue slider up. And when you look at the image as you're taking up the hue slider, you are going to notice, I'm just going to zoom in slightly, you will notice that the skin is now getting to look better and more even. So I'm just going to take this up. And you can see that it tends to eliminate the yellows that were existing due to makeup inconsistencies within the skin. So in order to encounter that or to counter that, I simply also come and pump up the saturation and you can see that this by moving these two sliders 
the skin gets to look better and it looks uniform than it was before so let me show you a quick before and after as we are proceeding so i'm just going to turn on the before and after slider so that you look at, at the skin tone in this case and you pay close attention just look at the before and the after for the skin just look at how nice and even the skin has now turned out to be or to look in this case so that's the before and this is the after before after the yellows that were existing before within the skin tone have now been gotten rid of so the next thing when it comes to even our skin tones in capture one after I had, i've worked on that we have the other option that says amount so in amount basically what we tend to do you can either add magentas or greens to the skin tone of your model so by moving the hue slider towards the left hand side it's going to introduce more magentas within the skin and moving it towards the right hand side is going to introduce more greens towards the skin tone so i felt like the skin tones were a little bit more on the red side so the opposite of magenta or red is going to be green so i'll just introduce some greens towards the skin and that is going to make the skin better or look greater so after i've done that the next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to count the saturation and simply knock down the saturation to have a better contrast value within the skin tone so after i have done all this in capture one i simply tend to come to my color balance and under color balance you can either add a specific color towards the highlights the midtones and the shadows so for example in the shadow area if at all you wanted to add some bluish or cyan feel or to an image you can click in the middle right here and the closer you move the circle towards the edges the more concentrated the color is going to be and the closer you move this circle towards the center the less intensity of that color that you're going to be having to affect the image so for this case i'm just going to do a tiny bit of it this is okay the next thing i'm going to do, i'm going to come to my highlights and i prefer to add a greenish color towards the highlights of most of the images that i edit because that tends to cool down or harmonize the reds and oranges within uh, the skin tone just like that so right now we are now getting the image to look better so after i've played around with the color balance in this case what i tend to do i come back to my basic adjustments in the color editor and what i do basically i come first of all to the oranges because oranges are part of skin tone so what i tend to do i come to the lightness of the oranges and i simply take the lightness down then what i do next i come to my yellows and also take out the saturation of the oranges so just look at what we have right now when it comes to a skin tone or a skin of a model so after we have done this i'm going to come back to the oranges and under oranges you can either take this a little bit towards uh, the green side and this makes the image more warm or warmer so after we have done all this we have now color graded and now we have an even skin color for the model let's look at a quick before and after for the raw file and what we have been able to achieve in capture and so that's the before and after before after when you feel like this is okay to you you can stop right here because color grading is more of a choice a choice or a test or preference but if at all you feel like the image is too warm for your liking you can either come to the midtone and you cool down the midtones by adding or introducing some cyans to the midtones and that is going to make the image look a little bit cooler or even better so if at all you feel like you're lacking contrast by cooling down the image you can come to the contrast slider and simply intensify or increase on the contrast within your image so let's look at before and after for this case so this was the image initially before and this is the after before after before after so when you feel like you are trying to change the makeup or lipstick as you're color grading the process you can simply come and make sure that this adjustment line is selected and simply get your eraser tool and you can now 
a raise or about the color grading for example on the lipstick or even the eyeshadow even the eye so you can press m on the keyboard and that is going to show you a new field mask for the adjustment layer for the color grading and you can get the eraser tool and simply rub away or erase the color grading for example from the lipsticks remember oftentimes we don't want to color grade the lips or change or even alter the original color on the makeup of our clients or even models in this case so you can come and reveal back the original color that what that you want to exist within uh the image or when you don't want to distort the original makeup patterns that were applied to the model so after doing this you can simply press back m and it's going to hide the layer mask so basically this is how i do color grade within capture one and have that nice and even skin tone for all my images so you can look at the image before and this is what we have been able to achieve in capture one so basically when you feel like the color grading is a little bit intense for your liking you can come the opacity slider and you can simply reduce or dial down the color grading effect on your image so basically this is how i do color grade skin tones in capture one and if at all you have found the video helpful make it a point that you hit the like button on the, on the video so that youtube can push and recommend it to to many people out there ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating